or advertising or something like that? Is that the sort of the nature of the question? Yeah. You you want to uh, take your pick? Yeah. So I think in a Westboro Baptist Church situation, obviously that would violate our uh, policy against bigotry. So if the Free State or God active in Westboro style protests, I think we would remove that participant from our database and say, you're not welcome as a free stater. Um, obviously, there has to be a, a kind of um, you know, range of, I think there's a, a range of tolerance that you kind of have to have for um, differences of opinion about ends and means. Uh, and there's a, a kind of limit frontier to that. And uh, I think it's plausible that the, the limit should be a little bit stricter for people that the Free State Project has a professional working relationship with as opposed to just individual Free Staters who sign up for the FSP. Right? So the vast majority of individuals who sign up for the FSP and move, they're not, uh, we're not doing anything for them as an organization other than you know, showing them what New Hampshire is is like and providing them information. Um, and so we have a fairly relaxed standard that you have to meet. You know, as long as you don't have you know, violence, racism, bigotry, uh, you're welcome. Uh, now for people that the Free State Project has a professional working relationship with, I, you know, I, I think there um, maybe it's worthwhile having uh, somewhat higher standards and say, well, is is this relationship going to work to the, the benefit of the Free State Project? Right? Are, is this going to look good for us? Is this going to get our message out there? Is this going to be a distraction? Those are all considerations that we, um, that we take into account. And we have to think about you know, what are the, the costs and benefits of, um, you know, of this particular relationship. And so we do that. And that's not to say there isn't some scope for legitimate disagreement about how we come down on some of those decisions. but. That's something that we very much do consider um, is, you know, to what extent do these, can we, um, you know, tolerate the, uh, the perception that we might be endorsing, say, this, this organization, this person is, um, that we're working with. Yeah, there's, um, there's another application of that, actually, that Jason didn't mention, and that, that is what about people who present at Free State Project events? And we had a problem at one point, um, you know, you, you can sign up as a Free Stater, and then if somehow we discover, for example, that you're a vocal advocate promoting racism, um, then we would remove you as a Free State Project participant. Well, uh, there was somebody who came and, and presented, I was actually a performer, musical performer, at a Free State Project event, there, that coincidentally was par a participant that we discovered was racist and removed them on those grounds, but it caused us to pause and say, well, wait a minute, they're non-participants, people who are not participants, speak at Free State Project events. And what do we want to do about that? And so the board adopted a policy that they would be held to the, those same standards. That's a fairly low bar. Don't advocate violence, racism, or bigotry. As far as organizations, I think, and, and I'm not on the board anymore, but. I, I was for about 10 years, and we tended to take a little bit liberal, let's say, view, that is, uh, the benefit of the doubt, um, that if there was some controversy, we'd probably not be particularly strict about that, but uh, we certainly would not entertain the idea of supporting or um, substantially entangling with groups who would promote bigotry or violence or racism. And uh, there's, a, there's kind of a long history of why that is. Um, uh, awkwardly, libertarian movements have a tendency of attracting some people like that. So that can be true of organizations also, and we want to try to at least cut off the worst of that. And personally, my hope, whether it be organizations or individuals, my hope is that those who um, have, let's say, errors, I would call them errors, in their thinking or their tactics, you know, they're, they're not nice people, or they promote ideas that are unpopular, um, not, just, not just because they're um, controversial, but because they're agitating or the way they do it is kind of offensive or whatever. Um, my hope is that those people who, who maybe don't promote racism, violence, or bigotry, but are just unsavory, would eventually mature, and the organizations or individuals would, would um, move away from that kind of activity. So um, I, as far as I'm not aware, there wasn't an 
uh, at least as of last December. There's not a formal policy that gives a kind of a uh, black and white description of when the Free State Project would, for example, not advertise or accept advertising from somebody else. Um, but the, I think the sense of the board would be if you're way off the rails, we'll probably say this is not something that we support. And, and there, is, there is not a, I guess the formal policy is, you know, we don't endorse all of those things explicitly. But yeah, there's a perception issue sometimes. Do you have anything to add? Yeah, uh, I mean, if the question is sort of about Free Talk Live, that's kind of the, <laughs> the implicit thing here. Uh, um, and and just, just, so can that, just so this. that the cable access people know, the host of Free Talk Live is also videoing here, so, right. so uh, he can hear the yeah. discussion. So, and, and Ian should be able to confirm this, but the Free State Project actually doesn't um, uh, pay to advertise on Free Talk Live at this point. Any longer. Any longer. Um, we did for a long time. Um, and uh, I, I'm not anti, I'm actually not anti Free Talk Live. I think, um, you know, Free Talk Live does a lot of good stuff. Um, you know, obviously, I've had some tactical disagreements with Ian on some issues. Um, but the one thing you can say about, uh, about Ian and Free Keen and that kind of uh, constellation of, of organizations here is that um, while some of the individuals involved with that have been at times rude or at times have done things that are kind of outlandish, um, they don't they don't use violence. They're very you know strict. They'll they'll never take anyone's rights away. They're not going to harm anybody else. And my view is that the stop free keen folks need to realize that if they if they want to reduce the temperature, if they want to reduce the outlandishness that that, that they dislike. About, uh, about that constellation of organizations, then they should just not give them attention. Because, um, you know, the, uh, you know these, these organizations, uh, they kind of, they, they thrive on that, that attention. That's, that's you know, uh, improvement. Attention. Right, yeah, that's, it's part of the, it's part of the, um, the media kind of um, environment that, um, that, uh, that, that they want to create. So, um, we can have our legitimate disagreements about um, uh, about tactics and, and how you uh, how you engage with people and how what, what types of issues you you focus on, um, but we should also keep things in perspective. And uh, I think that we, both sides can, can use some of that. Yeah, the um, the Free State Project does not advertise on ISIS TV, uh, <laughs> and ISIS TV does not advertise at Free State Project events. So there's so there's that. And there is a magnitude issue. I've been here for 11 years here in Keene now and have watched sort of things unfold. And I've seen a mix of things. There are things that rub me the wrong way. And I've been fairly vocal about that. Um, I started writing in the Keene Sentinel about it, maybe uh, letters, at least as far back as 2010 and, and, uh, and probably earlier than that. I started speaking at Free State Project events about that in 2006 that I have records of and, and maybe before informally. Um, and I think it's good to uphold higher standards. And that's not just with Free Keen. That would be with any kind of activism activity, uh, whether it be political or civil disobedience or whatever. Um, so yeah, there are some disagreements. And there, there could be perception issues. One of the reasons that uh, we wanted to present this is to try to clarify the, the distinction between the two. And if things get too cozy, I don't know where that line is, but if things get too cozy with people who are doing truly bad things, for example, promoting bigotry, I think that we would draw the line. Now, I'm not on the board anymore, but the board uh, is reachable. They're real people, so you know, if anybody has an issue where they go, oh, man, this is a problem, the best thing to do would be to send that right straight to the board. There's two board members in the room right now um, that could hear issues like that. And I think that's a very a good thing to bring up, and I appreciate the question. Is there an email address for the board? Yeah, um, I, s I tried to send you an email to that address, and I'm not sure it got to you, so maybe you should answer that question. So board at freestateproject.org uh, will go to a, one of our board members, uh, okay. and so and it would be passed on to all of us. So that's now to one, not all of them. Yes, yeah, so okay. it'll go to one, but then it'll get forwarded all right. to all of us. So board um, at freestateproject.org. Yeah. Send your cards and letters. <laughs>